zippity doo beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here at the Yacht Beach Club Resort here in Walt Disney World. Now at this point, most of you have gotten started with the blogging system, so obviously you've gotten started with the tools to be able to adapt to today's new economy, and a lot of you are just really excited to be able to, to get started designing your blog, um, creating your ads, having your ads on the blogs, maybe setting up your your AdSense income streams, that way you can make some ad revenue, um, designing your blog in a way that reflects your company or your brand, um, things of that sort. And what I'm going to suggest for you for the moment is I'm going to suggest us to just hold on that for, for a wee bit. And the reason is because uh, we want to start generating some traffic first, okay? Um, a lot of times what happens or sometimes what happens is people spend so much time working on the blog and they really see no financial progress and they get discouraged and they stop. So what I want to have you to do is I want to really have you start focusing on creating those things that produce traffic. And once you have the traffic, you'll get excited, you'll see how much traffic that you're generating, and by you not having the income stream set up, you'll see how much money that you're actually losing by not having it, and that's the appropriate time to start setting up your income streams. But, but as of right now, what I really want you to focus on is I really want you to focus on creating content because that content drives traffic. Um, once you have enough content, been doing it long enough, then that's when Google and the search engines are going to start sending you the traffic. Now, let's say that you don't want to go ahead and do the blogging yourself. Let's say that you don't want to do any of this stuff, okay? Um, you know, because maybe you don't know what to write about or um, maybe you just don't want to. There's a, a number of different reasons why people don't want to actually do the blogging yourself. And so, as I've mentioned before, we have different resources. You can find some of these resources down below directly underneath this video where you can hire our experts and they'll go ahead and, and create these videos, create articles, create content, create stuff on your blog that will drive traffic. And that way, again, that way you can't do, you don't have to worry about doing it yourself and you can hire that out for as little as five bucks per project. Now, for most of you though, I'm gonna suggest you to actually do the blogging yourself. Now, even if you hire it out, I also wanna suggest that you will also do some of it yourself. And here's why. Um, you know, you've, there's the, the wise old, age old expression and you can teach somebody to fish and they'll eat for a day. Uh, or if you catch, catch a fish for somebody, they'll eat for a day. But if you teach somebody how to fish, fish, they'll eat for a lifetime. Well, I want to teach you through blogging how to be able to eat for a lifetime. And the way that we do this originally is to start creating content. We have to drive traffic. We, uh, and creating articles, creating videos, creating any of that stuff, that is really what drives traffic. So what I really want to have you focus on right now is ideally, and this is according to John Chow, and John Chow is one of the foremost blogging experts. Um, he's uh, very popular out there. He's one of the top bloggers. If you type in his name on the Google search engines or look for, uh, do a Google search for top bloggers, John Chow will, will come up many times. And this is his formula. And his formula, what he did is he blogged two times a day uh, for a year, and at, at the end of that year, he was making about $40,000 a month. But what he also says is the magic number is 360 blog posts. Now, that might sound like a lot. Now, of course, you could blog once a day for a year, and that would get you your 360 blog posts, and that would re replace your job for most of you unless you're just uh, ma making so much money that you know, you'd actually have to st step it up a little bit beyond that. Um, so 360 blog posts. Now, if you don't want to do that and in, in take a year to do that, um, let's say that you wanted to do that for six months. So you blog twice a day for six months and you got your 360 blog posts. Um, let's say if you blog four times a day for six months, and, uh, or not, not uh, six months, but now you're doing it in about 90 days, doing it in about three months. If you wanted to do it in 45 days, you could blog eight times a day for 45 days and you'd have enough traffic that would really replace your job. Now, I know a gentleman by the name of Justin, and he had no job. He, you know, he had really no income, and he just concentrated for, for, 
three months, just from the time he got up to the time he went to bed, he was blogging. And that's all he was doing. And in 90 days, he was making about $30,000 a month. So our magic number right now is to get traffic to our blog. Okay? And so just... And I'm going to suggest the number of 360, but you might not need that many. You might only need 100. And even with 100, uh, take for instance my blog, my blog would be just with 100 blog posts would have started generating me about five, five to six sales a day. Okay, even after 100 blog posts. So that's not really a lot, um, but just start creating enough content. create enough content that way that Google and the search engines can start sending you some traffic. Now, I don't want you to get overwhelmed by thinking, what do I, what am I going to write about? Um, It's not very difficult because one of the first, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this. Um, But second of all, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, take other people's content. So basically, as long as you can copy and paste, uh, you know, somebody maybe wrote an article, you copy that, that blog article, post it on your blog. You have to do a couple of different things just to make some new original content, but you can leverage that blog. So you don't really have to know what to write. You don't have to write anything yourself, um, but you're creating content that we can go ahead and put on your blog. And like I said, Google and the search engines will start sending you traffic based upon that. So uh, what I want to encourage you to do is don't procrastinate. Start putting this into action. But in our very next video, I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to show you how to take other pieces of content through maybe some of your favorite magazines that have have websites um, take for instance you know I might go to Forbes magazine or um, you know Huffington Post or um, you know men's health magazine I could copy one of those articles if you know how to copy and paste and if you don't I'll show you how to do that as well so copy that and post that on your blog and paste it and then publish it and that's it but I'm going to show you how you can start generating traffic by utilizing other people's content in our very next video. But I had a blast filming this video for you here this evening. Um, it's starting to get a little dark here, but it's uh, still it's, it's still plenty of uh, light out here today. Um, but I had a blast filming this video for you here today. Uh, take care, everyone. Don't cr- procrastinate. Start putting this into action and, and move on to our next video. But take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.